Hello everyone, Bentley Kay here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles makeup video and we are going to be testing out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This seems to be the hottest new popular thing. I know I said we were going to try this infallible um, 24 hour fresh wear powder, but since it's winter and it's my skin is so dry. I thought we'll give it another week and maybe, you know, I can moisturize more. I mean, I've been moisturizing, but anyways, we're, this one I think is more popular right now and I think you guys would like to know how I feel about it. <laughs> At least I hope so. So that's what we're gonna try. I have the shade, I forgot to get glasses. <laughs> so this is light, 240 warm. That's what shade I got. I have no idea. As you can see, it's not even out of the package yet. I had to order it online because I don't think it's in store yet. It may be in store by now, but it wasn't when I was getting it. So that's what we're going to try today. Um, I also, I got these from a subscriber. They sent them to me. These are from Amazon and it's a corrector. These are cream correctors and cream um, concealers. And so I thought we'd try these out too. Um, I don't want to put too much underneath just because I don't think it would be a fair trial if I put too much, but I thought we would try the peach one and then one of these concealers too. So I have already moisturized because I did see Emily Noel talk about this and she said she was comparing it to the It CC Cream and she said you need a moi, moi, <laughs> a moi, a more moisturized base for this one. So I have put moisturizer on this morning and I just put some more on because my skin is so dry right now. It's completely sucked in, but I wanted it to have as much moisture as it possibly could to start off with. So I think we're going to put, and we are going to put these underneath, so. We're gonna do it that way. Um, I'm going to use a concealer brush if I can find one. Here's a concealer brush. We'll start with concealer. We'll start with actually with the peach colored color corrector. And I'm just going to grab a little of this on a brush and I'm gonna put it under on these, just on these dark circles right here and see how that works. It may not be dark enough for me. I usually use a darker color, but every time I do, I have people telling me, you don't need that one that dark. So we're gonna try this one and see if it does the trick. But I think I need a darker one. It's actually better if you put it on with your finger. It's just that my nails are kind of long. Not nearly as long as they used to be. They're a little bit long. And they get in the way when you're doing this. This is kind of, I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and try the concealer now. I'm sure it's the same brand, which is Celebre Pro. Yeah, they are the same brand. Like I said, they're from Amazon. And if I can find links, I will link them. So let's just go in with the same brush. I'll just use the other side of it. And I'm gonna use the lightest, cause that's what I do. And put that right on top of that. Well, it's working pretty good. I just don't like it right here in the corner. Maybe I should use my sponge. That's what I normally use, right? For my concealer. 
Oh, yeah. That was the problem. I just needed to use my sponge to smooth it out. And it's kind of late in the afternoon today because I don't know if you guys noticed, but I missed a video on Saturday. And that is because my hot water heater isn't functioning properly. And I was going to do this hair thing, this Denman thing. This is my second try with the Denman brush. And I'm pretty sure it's my last one. This hair took forever for me to do. I was going to film it. That's what's, what gets going to be my Saturday video. But then the hot water heater went out and it was like, no way, it's freezing here. So I didn't get it done. So I did it today and I was going to film it. I started filming it and when I was using the brush, I just don't think it makes that big a difference. I think I can get this much curl by just air drying my hair. It didn't seem to, it's still, the ends are not that much curlier than they are normally. So it's like, and it took forever, forever. And I have tons more product in my hair than I ever put in. Normally I put leave-in conditioner and silk oil and let it dry and I don't crunch it. I don't diffuse it. Anyways, I did all that and I didn't film it and I'm never doing it again because it takes, the whole reason I leave my hair curly is because I'm too lazy to fix it and this takes longer than it does to straighten it. Anyways, sorry about that. I just got off on a tangent. Now we're gonna try our foundation. So, how do you like this Denman hair? I, well, I already told you how I feel about it. Way too much trouble, way. I think it, maybe my hair's just not curly enough. That's what I think. It's just this, and it's this whether you do it or not. Anyways, this is our e.l.f. CC cream. I'm gonna shake it up a little. I'm gonna put the lid back on just in case it comes out. And then we're gonna go in, put it on the back of my hand. Color looks pretty good. I think it's maybe a little bit light, we'll see. It's a little bit yellow, but I like yellow. I'm tucking these behind my ears again. Oop, I probably got it in my hair. Anyways, yes, it feels thick. And I liked the last CC cream we did. Was it a CC cream or a BB cream? This uh, wet and wild one, I liked it so much. I went back and bought another one because I know you guys are going to like it so much it's going to sell out. So, and that's what I've been wearing every day is that one. I like the Catrice one too, but this one is only $4.98. The Catrice one had a little less coverage and it was $10, which I thought was a great deal at the time, but then when I got the $5 one, it's like, oh, this one's even better. I don't know if I have enough on me right now just yet but we're gonna go ahead and spread it out I like the coverage and I knew that I had seen enough people try it already that I knew the coverage was really good on this elf one but I am not a huge fan of the It Cosmetics one. It, to, to me, it seems to sink into my lines. So I thought we definitely need to try this out and see. However, when I saw Emily Noel say she thought it was like drier, I thought, well, that's not a good sign for us. But. I think we're only going to do the one coat and then we're going to go in with a sponge. Where's my sponge? Here it is. I may have to go in with some more concealer though, some of my regular concealer.
just because I put this on top and I don't feel it's bright enough but I may be able to brighten it up with powder because it definitely looks kind of dry under my eyes I love the coverage I will have to update you guys in the comments though because it's so late in the day I and I have to get this edited and up tonight Ooh, this is pretty huh so I will put it on with you and then at the end of the day or actually I'll probably put it in the comments because I have to get it up tonight and then finish putting the stuff in it tomorrow and it go live tomorrow so I'll put it in the comments at the top I'll put my final thoughts on this because I won't have time to to wait till I have my final thoughts to edit it tonight it looks good right now I put new lashes on Sunday these are the Ardell Demi Wispies they're just a tiny bit no they're not Never mind. I forgot. I was going to put the Ardell Demi Wispies on because they were a little bit longer on the edge than these. These are the Salon Perfect ones. New ones, but the Salon Perfect. And I was going to use the Demi Wispies, but I bought the Faux Mink Demi Wispies from Ardell. And the band was too thick. I think I didn't put them on because I, I decided the band was too thick so I put on the salon perfect that's what I'm wearing the salon perfect ones they're almost identical it's just the outer edge of the foam ink ones from Ardell is a little bit longer so it would give you a little more lift here which I wanted but I need to find I need to get the Ardell Demi Wispies that are not foam ink because they have a tiny little band like the salon perfect ones and try those because I did want a little bit more lift but I'm just gonna put liner on today so we're done with that let's put our powder on I think that's gonna work So now I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown bronzer in natural, natural or neutral, natural. My big fluffy elf brush. I'm just going to tap it in there. Get my hair out of the way. Make a triangle over here. And a triangle over here. And pull it up into my temple. On both sides. And then drag a little bit across my forehead. And get rid of these gel lines. Nobody likes gels except on a basset hound. I don't want to look like a basset hound. Then I'm going to grab my contouring brush from e.l.f. Same powder. And do my nose.
then I'm going to grab this brush and tone that down. I'm also going to go in with this on my eye using my bronzer to carve out my crease and then pull it up to take back that bone a little bit. And pull this in about halfway. Now I'm going to grab my highlight. I'm going to use my cookie highlight from Benefit. I'm just going to use my finger, put a little there, a little there, a little there. A lot there, down my nose a little bit, and then I'm going to use it on the inner half of my lid. Just like that. And I'm going to take this, blend all that. Call it good. Now, I am going to use my Maybelline liner. Can't push line because I have lashes on, so I'm just gonna put a line as close to the lash line as I can get it. Doesn't have to be straight because I'm gonna smudge it. And I'm gonna add a little extra to the outer corner so I can smudge it up a little higher and I want to get this all the way into the corner because that's the one thing about my lashes I never have them the fake ones that go all the way in because that bugs me so I need to draw a line to make sure they look like they're all the way in and then I always do them one at a time because this liner it's a gel so it will set and then it's harder to smudge it if you wait too long and I try to push it down into the lashes as much as possible I don't want any skin showing between the lash line and my liner Once I get it all smudged, then I go to the outer corner and start pulling it up. Just to lift it. A bit. Now I'm going to do my brows. As you can see, that's what we need to do. That's what's left to do. My lips and my brows. So far, the foundation looks amazing. How much was this? This was like $14. So, but it is the best coverage of the three that I've tried lately. So, if you need full coverage, $14. If you need light coverage, I'd go with the $5 one. The Catrice one was good, but I think that the uh, Wet n' Wild one's just as good, maybe a little bit better, and cheaper. But we'll see how this one is at the end of the night. I will leave it in the comments. Right before I wash it off. I'm really loving this 
quick and easy makeup routine with the using the bronzer for pretty much everything. I can't wait till I get to travel and just take bronzer, highlight. I'll have lashes on, so I don't and, and eyeliner and foundation and concealer. But I won't have to take eyeshadow. and blush. Is that all I'm skipping is eyeshadow and blush? And mascara, because I don't put mascara on when I have um, fake lashes on. So that's what I'd be leaving off. Mascara, blush, eyeshadow but those are things nice to not have to take with you and still get the look you want all right let's do some lipstick and I put this on the other day and I loved it so I'm gonna use it again it's the Hara ride or die Lip Balm from ELF. Stuff is thick. I always get way too much. That's okay. I really like it and my lips really need it so that's it that's it for our look for the of the day so far the elf foundation I mean CC cream CC or BB I think it's a CC cream where is it I don't know uh, okay the elf CC cream camo camo that should tell me camo CC cream is amazing it is really nice. It's not too dry. It's not. I think it's not as dry as the It Cosmetics. I think it's got nice coverage. Really nice coverage. Now, is it going to sink into lines? It looks like it might be going to. A little bit. I don't know. Hopefully it won't move anymore. Because it's just kind of barely making a line. Yeah, I got a, a little bit in the line here, and a little bit up here, but you can really only tell it when I get rid of the line. So I think it's going to be good. And maybe if I spray it, if I remember, I never remember to spray it. Maybe that'll keep it out and give it a little bit of glow. Here we go. That's it. That's it for our look of the day. Elf. Where did it go? Here it is. Elf Camo. CC Cream. I'm giving it a thumbs up for right now. And I will leave my final thoughts of the day at the end of the day in the information box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!